Krypton. The 36th element on the periodic table is not a green rock that can hurt Superman, but is actually a noble gas with an atomic weight of 83.8. It is colorless, odorless, tasteless, and extremely unreactive under normal conditions due to its full outer electron shell. Krypton is present in the Earth's atmosphere in trace amounts, about one part per million by volume, and is typically obtained through the fractional distillation of liquefied air alongside other noble gases like neon and xenon. It was discovered in 1898 by British chemists Sir William Ramsay and Morris Travers, who named it after the Greek word kryptos meaning hidden, because of its elusive presence in the air and its inert nature. Its discovery came just weeks after the same scientists identified neon, and it helped complete the early understanding of the noble gas group. Despite being rare and largely unreactive, krypton has a number of valuable applications. In lighting, krypton is used in high-intensity discharge lamps, flash lamps for photography, and runway and air navigation lights. Due to the bright white and sometimes blue-green glow it emits when excited by electricity. It's also used in laser technology, most notably in krypton-ion lasers, which produce a very stable and precise beam useful in both scientific and medical settings. Krypton is sometimes used as a fill gas in energy-efficient windows, especially in triple-pane glass, where its low thermal conductivity helps insulate buildings better than air or even argon. It also finds niche use in plasma displays and some gas mixtures for particle detectors in nuclear and astrophysics experiments. Although krypton is largely inert, scientists have managed to create a few rare compounds, the most well-known being krypton difluoride. These compounds can only form under extreme conditions like very low temperatures and high pressures, but these are more of scientific interest than practical use.